we introduced grasping field, learning implicit representations for human grasps. Capturing and synthesizing hand-object interaction is essential for understanding human behaviors. Given hand and object shapes, our goal is to learn the representation that is best suited for modeling hand-object interaction. Here, we show grasp sampled using our proposed grasping field representation given 3D object shapes. Our key observation is that although contact is fundamental for grasping, previous methods for hand-object interaction do not explicitly model contact. Inspired by the recent implicit representation methods, we will propose a novel representation for hand and object interaction. The grasping field representation maps any 3D point to a 2D space, where each dimension indicates the sign distances to the surface of the hand and the object respectively. With this representation, the contact region can be explicitly defined as regions where the distances to both surfaces are zero. In contrast to mesh-based representation, with grasping field, the definition of contact can be learned directly from data. It also allows us to encourage contact and to avoid interpenetration based on the predicted sign distance. To represent different shapes with a single network, the grasping field decoder also conditions on an encoded shape latent vector. The encoder can be changed according to the input. Here we showed the application of our proposed grasping field for grasp generation. We propose a generative model by which we generate plausible hand grasp given an object point cloud. We show that our model can synthesize physically and semantically plausible grasp, similar to the grand truth. We train a conditional VAE from the encoded hand and object point cloud. A KL divergence loss is applied on the hand and vector. The grasping field decoder then predicts the sign distances based on the latent vector and the query point P. During inference, the hand latent code is sampled from the Gaussian distribution. Finally, the full mesh is obtained by discretizing the space using the marching cube algorithm. However, the shape obtained from an implicit representation does not have point correspondence, which might limit its application for downstream tasks. To this end, we also predict the part label for each point. Given the part labels and the predefined hand segmentation mask, we optimize points on the manual hand mesh to match the predicted points. By training our model on the synthetic augment dataset alone, our model achieves comparable performance to the ground truth for the three datasets. Here are more results from our model. Thanks for listening.